Most traditional martial arts today focus on techniques for self-defense. At Nexus Guardian, they also teach similar techniques, but have expanded the focus outward to include the defense of others for the benefit of their community. The title I have here, um, the way we do it in the culture, my name is um, Tung Diu, Dong Yat Guan Tung Diu. Um, the translation of it is um, condor, light of the dark. The word con is just means a certain level of what we're training at. This philosophy is really old. So the story of what, how I got to this was, the thing I teach, guardian art, is an endangered type of art. It's a very old art from the indigenous people. And because it's endangered, I was kind of given the mission to try to revive it as best as I can. And I took on that mission. I would never thought of it from a business point of view. I always thought it from an art point of view. So the business part was very difficult because I didn't know how to think like that. And a lot of times when you think from the business point of view, it could affect the integrity of the art. When you look at the lineage and history of a lot of things, such even including something like parkour, it actually comes back to indigenous people. The lineage that I learned it from is more from the northern lineage. So my con was Inuit. And the main things that we have in common that we focus on, the idea that we on, as earth humans were here to be protectors of the land. I learned it more from an outside perspective. A lot of the obstacle course type training, a lot of the words used nowadays in the Western culture is like parkour or ninja warrior. But the perspective I learned it from was something in translation called spirit running. In spirit running, the goal of it, when we talk about spirit, is to connect to the spirit of the land. We got really fortunate that words like parkour and ninja warrior came out to make people look for our type of training. I've been going here since, since I was seven and I'm 13 now. My mom signed me up because I liked running around and I had too much energy. So I've been going here ever since. A lot of times when people see what we do, they get confused when they look at the physical things and they get confused and they think we're martial arts or they think we are gymnastics or they think we are parkour. And we have a lot of movements that are very similar. But what makes us different is our philosophy, our message. So we're called guardian art for a very specific reason. The word guardian means someone protects others. The main message we always bring them is everything they're learning is not for themselves is but is for helping others for example when we set up obstacle course here oftentimes we'll play what's called a garden game and we'll set up the course we'll pretend at the end of the game it's like a village or something and that village is sick and then you have to move really fast to bring medicine to a village in like 30 seconds so instead of moving fast to beat someone race we're moving fast to help somebody else so the level I'm on the whole thing is all about energy and like keeping it positive and helping others. So that's definitely playing a really big part in everyone's training. There's also a lot of like emotional values, like learning how to control your emotions, learning how to use like fighting for good. It's a lot, a lot of that. Most people come to our teaching with what they see physically, right? But the physical part is always not the main part. So we teach it from a mind viewpoint versus a body viewpoint. With like the flipping, we're trying to teach more the courage. Same thing with something like sparring. They'll teach it more from a competition viewpoint, trying to win. But the way we teach it, instead of trying to teach the kids to focus on winning, their focus is to make their partner better. That's some of the other unique things that makes us very different. Reporting for Scott Center News, I'm Viviana Bouvier.